everybody, you'll notice I didn't say Happy Makeup Monday because these times are crazy. And we're just going to throw up videos whenever Johnny Boy has a chance to do that because I don't know how. I just can edit and create, but not post. Anyway, so you're just going to be seeing sporadic little footage uh, in, in the foreseeable future. We'll figure out um, how to get back on schedule. So, most of you know, Lee is a pastor, and he has had to make the decision about the coronavirus to cancel service, not to cancel service, what to do. Um, in the meantime, how to get material to our folks that might not have social media, stuff like that. So, he's very busy right now during this crisis. So, um, we're just going to get what we get here. So, today I'm going to bring you some new Mary Kay. It just came in today. I'm so, so excited. Um, just so you know, I did place the order before the coronavirus. I'm not putting makeup before food. Come on. Come on. Anyway, um, so we're going to try out some Mary Kay. Three items are new. I'm so excited. It's a bronzer and it's two different lipsticks. These are, I'm not sure if they're limited edition, but they are new. Um, it's a gel semi-matte formula. I've not even swatched them. I have no idea what they feel like. Very excited. So, we're going to start out with foundation. Let me just stick it out of my basket. I'm going to mix two colors of the Mary Kay Time Wise Matte 3D Foundation. If you guys have not tried this, if you don't know of a Mary Kay lady... Hi, my name's Christina, and I would love to be your Mary Kay lady. Um, I don't really push it. I mainly have uh, kept up with it just for me and my family. Um, but if you have a Mary Kay lady and you have not tried this, you need to try this. It is fantastic. It is so on par with, um, is it Eliz Elizabeth Arden? No, it's not Elizabeth Arden. Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder uh, Double Wear. So on par with that and half the price. Literally half the price. So, I'm in love with this. Um, I am going to just use my dirty <laughs> Real Technique sponge. It's just stained, really. It's not like filth. Give me a break. Stop judging me. I'm just mixing two colors. I'm mixing the shade 140 and 200. I normally like the shade 190 and 200 mixed, but I had this one on hand and I didn't want to waste. These are uncertain days. We need not waste. So, I'm just going to start pat, pat, patting. You know what? I didn't bring down a concealer. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe I got the Corona Vice. I'm losing my mind. Okay, our foundation is all blended out. Oh my word, I did not bring down a setting powder either. Literally, guys, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Oh, I can use this as a setting powder. Maybe. Let's see. So I've got this Park Avenue Princess palette. It has got... Um, some contour shades, some bronzer shades, and some, like, different brightening powders. I'm just going to go into them. Yeah, I don't have a concealer down here. Oh, my heck. We're just going to go with it. I'm just going to take this little velour puff and go into one of these lighter powders and see if I can just set that so it doesn't crease. I might brighten it up even though I don't have concealer. I literally don't want to run back upstairs because I'm afraid someone will need me. And I want to get my makeup on. You ever do that as a mom? You hide. Sometimes you got to. You got to do what you got to do. I'm going to set the sides of my nose 
on just the really necessary areas. I'm actually going to go over my cheeks just a little with it because I don't want the bronzer to patch, um, to be patchy because it's clinging to a wet foundation service, you know. I've not seen anything about this bronzer. It might, it might be terrible. I have no idea. It looks beautiful. Like just in the packaging. I have not touched it. Which is really difficult for me, but I didn't. Okay, so this is what I've been waiting for. I'm going to go into the bronzer. I will pop it out of my magnetic, my magnetic palette. Um, it's the shade Gilded Glow. So they had a bronzer a long time ago. They got rid of it, and it was just kind of a shimmer bronzer. Loved it so much. They discontinued it, came out with a couple contour shades, which are great. They are lovely. I really enjoy them. I've got one of them in this little palette right here. But I missed just that all-over bronzer, and so... Somebody must have complained, and they brought one back. This does look different. It's got some uh, shiny sparkle to it, like the swirls. See how it looks marbled? Um, I'm quite excited. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm so excited. So I'm going to take this Wet n' Wild brush. It's just a fluffy brush. I'm going to go into it like this. We'll tap it. I don't really see anything falling off, so let's try it. Oh, I'm so excited. Please work, please work, please work, please work. Oh, yes. Hello, beautiful. So, one thing I am noticing is it is not very dark. It is subtle. They had a darker shade, but I wanted to go lighter shade first. I didn't want to be looking cray-cray. This is beautiful. I think this can work with a lot of skin tones. It is nice. Do you see just health? Health and vitality, folks. Mary Kay is selling health and vitality. Oh my goodness. This is lovely. I hope you can see on camera that it's really just added some health. I'm going to just hit the nose with it. Go the neck, bronze, the chest. This is a tank top, don't worry. I'm not doing anything inappropriate. Oh my goodness. This is what I've been waiting for. Honestly, I am so excited. Probably way too excited, but very excited nonetheless. Uh, I am now going to go into this Mary Kay blush shade. I'm going to have to pop it out and look at the color. And this is the shade Juicy Peach. It has a lot of shimmer to it. You can't really see it on camera. It does have a lot of shimmer to it. Uh, let's see if you can... Can't really see the shimmer. Uh, it does have a lot. I'll, you know, just be careful with it. Um, I enjoy it. If you have very textured skin, I don't recommend it. And if you have very textured skin, you might not like this bronzer at all because it is glowy. Um, I think it's going to look really nice and healthy during the summer. That's very excited. Um, but you want to stay with matte textures um, if you have really textured skin. So it won't emphasize and draw a lot to those big pores and such. I have lost. I've lost. Oh, there it is. Found it. Lost my lip gloss there for a minute. I was so sad. Oh. Oh, shoot, my mate. The two new lipsticks that I wanted to test are upstairs. I was too lazy. Didn't want to go get the concealer, but I have to get these lipsticks. I'm desperate to try Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I don't have a lip liner, but that was intentional. I didn't forget that. Um, I just want to see how these are and what their true color is without a lip liner. Because... You know, if I had like a red lip liner, it's going to turn it more red. If I have a dark lip liner, it's going to turn it darker. So, I just wanted to see the true color. This is the shade Rosewood. Is that so beautiful? Oh, my word. And these are both nudes that I got. This is like a darker, 
I'm really bad at describing colors. Anyway, you can kind of see it better um, up next to my shirt, but it's got a little pink to it. The next one has more pink to it. This is the shade Sunset Peach. Is that gorgeous? Oh, I'm so excited. So, and my nails are really coral, if that gives you any sort of reference. So, it's got a lot of coral to it, but I would still definitely consider that a nude. So, I'm going to put these here. I think I'll go with the coral one first. I think it's going to be lighter. And, um, maybe I'll do the... I don't know. I don't know how I want to do this. I want to try them both out. Let's just go in with this, see where it takes us. That is beautiful. Whoa, it's a lot brighter on camera. And it looks weird because I've only done one lip, but that's beautiful. I think I'm going to do the other color on the bottom lip. Just so I can, you can get a sense of what this true color is. So, that's just one little swap. I'm, we'll see if it's buildable. I mean, that was several swaps back and forth. Um, it layered up nice. I really want to rub it together, but I, I want to try this other shade out. So, this is the shade Rosewood that's going on the bottom. Oh, pretty. Now you can really see the distinct difference. It's got a lot of coral in it. This one has a lot of, like, mauve, I guess. It's pretty true to color to what you see in the bullet. That is beautiful. So here's the colors. Rosewood and the top one is Sunset Peach. So now I'm going to rub them together. Oh, it feels nice. It feels like a lip balm. Those are super comfortable. They're not oily or greasy. They just feel really, really soft. Ooh, I like that. And again, this is the Gel Semi Shine. They had a semi matte, but I don't like their matte lipsticks at all. Like, they are the worst. I know that's harsh, but I don't like them uh, for Mary Kay. But these are lovely. I would say compared to their um, classic lipstick formula, this is definitely shinier. Um, it definitely feels lighter on the lips. And I feel like it feels like a lot more moisturizing. I haven't looked at the ingredients in it. I don't know if it has any like good for you ingredients in it or oils. But um, that's lovely. I like the colors together too. Like that's very wearable, you know. A lot of my stuff that I do on this channel is not super wearable for everybody. Glitter and all that. But um, now I'm going to go in with something I have tried before. But it is their Dark Blonde uh, Brow Gel. I do Dark Blonde because if I do my eyebrows as dark as they truly naturally are, I look like an angry bird. So I'm just going to brush this through. I'm not even going to fill them in with a pencil or anything. I'm just going to only use this brow gel and it's very easy to clean up so you can be messy with it this is not a problem and you can even draw over those bald spots like swipe over the bald spots with it and it'll kind of get the color on your skin of course it's not going to fill them in like a pencil would but if you're in a hurry and you got one step i like this product a lot so there's one, there's the one that is done. So I'll do this one facing the camera so that you guys can kind of see. So I'll just brush up to get all those hairs up and you can go in with the spoolie first if you want, but I just think that's a wasted extra step. I definitely go in with a spoolie before a pencil or a pomade, but with this, I mean, that is a spoolie, so I just fill it in. And then I take my finger, or you can use your sponge or a brush, and just kind of wipe away what has gotten above it. And it doesn't disrupt the foundation or anything. I'm telling you, this foundation is the bomb diggity. 
Um, so I'm just going to go back over with bronzer just to and blend the bronzer and blush together. Um, let's see here. I'm not going to do highlight today because we've already got a lot of shine going on. And I mean, I think we're pretty shiny. See that? I'm shiny. I feel like if I do highlight, it's going to be cray cray. Now, if I was going to church or if I was going on a date or somewhere, I would add some little bit of highlight on the very high points and down the nose. But I like a lot of shine. So that's just me. Okay, so I'm going to do a really fast, simple eye look and I'll be right back with you. All right, folks, I'm back and I got a little carried away with my wing, but my eye look is blush on the inner corner. <laughs> On the inner corner, uh, the blush I used is on the inner corner and this inner part of the lid. And then the whole lid space is Mary Kay Contour in the shade Latte, if I'm not mistaken. And then the bronzer we used is covering the rest of the lid. Um, minimal, tried to do that. And then I also wanted to try out some glitters from another palette. So that's what's underneath the eye. So I appreciate you watching. Thank you for spending time with me today. And I will see you in our next one. Bye.